Tom, uh, Mike was just saying that how, how you guys played so intense, and if they don't match your intensity, they're going to keep getting beat. Were you just happy with the energy and the effort and everything that you needed in a game like this? Yeah, and they're such a great team that you have to play like that against them. You can't, you know, you can't have a lull. You can't have a letdown. Duncan. Um, you have to play for 48 minutes. I thought our guys did a terrific job of, uh, you know, defensively they were very good. And offensively, just trusting each other, making the plays. Coach, is there, a, whoa, is there anything you're seeing differently from Andrew Wiggins not only tonight but this series versus the regular season? And, uh, Andrew has played very well. He played very well down the stretch. Uh, he, he's played well in the playoffs. He's playing an all-around game. You know, the rebounding was good and the playmaking. He had five assists. He's trusting the pass. He's making the right read on the double teams. Uh, I thought that sort of it, it, it became contagious with everyone. You know, Jimmy was making plays. Uh, I thought Carl got going in the second half. You know, and that was important for us. His activity was terrific. I thought Derek gave us a big boost off the bench. Uh, but we needed everyone. You hit a lot of threes tonight in rhythm. It seemed they weren't you know chucking at the end of the clock or it seems like more than usual this team was. Both looking for the three, the drive and kick you always talk about. Yeah, was you the know, execution so, that? Yeah, we got to keep good? working at it, you know. And like the the thing is, we've been a very good offensive team all year, and it's you know I still you know I want us to take more threes, and it's something that you know we have to continue to work at. And you're right, they were to me it's uh, you know we we want to play to our strengths and cover up our weaknesses. But also, when a team is helping the way they're helping, is to make the right play. And you know, the, like oftentimes people say, "Well, he only got this amount of shots." Well, that's okay if you're you're, you're kicking the ball out and we're getting good rhythm shots on the backside. And that's the important part. Whether you're a perimeter player, where's the help coming from? If you're a post player, where's the help coming from? And then, are you willing to make the pass? You know, and that's that's the important thing to trust each other. And when you, that's how you win in this league, and uh, and they're a great team. We know we're going to have to play better on Monday. I think we're capable of playing better. You know, we we we're learning more each day. We learn, we improve, uh, and and the same thing. We know we can't feel too good about ourselves. We have to get in tomorrow, study the film, get ready. We know Monday will be an intense game. Nope. Nope. I mean, if you if you're watching, it's pretty obvious. Tom, how important was Teague's toughness, especially in the fourth quarter tonight? It's, it's critical, and that's you know it, when he plays like that, we're a different team, you know. Uh, he, but he has to play with that consistency. I thought he was in an attack mode, uh, and you know Jimmy was very aggressive also. So the backcourt was, all our perimeter players were super aggressive. Uh, and you know, and Jamal did a good job when he was in there. You know, we I thought G's minutes were good, uh, but you need everyone playing well. And you know, playoff games are going to be intense. They're going to be hard fought. They're going to be physical. There's going to be contact. If flipping the ball up is not going to do you any good. You're not going to get those calls. You know, you got to be attacking the basket. Second defender comes. You got to hit the open man. Everyone has to read the ball. They have to move on the flight of the ball, and you have to pass it on target. What, what did uh, J Jimmy and Carl find tonight that they did in the first two games? Well, I mean, we made shots, which is you know a big part of it. And I thought in game one, I thought we attacked very well off the dribble. And I, in game two, I thought we got stuck trying to force feed the post. And so I think we learned from that. Um, and you know, we just got, we have to play with energy. We have. You know, I think we've played, you know, poorly in one quarter. You know, and I think we can play a lot better, and we have to. What do you think of the way Jeff kind of commanded the offense tonight? Well, not only Jeff, I think I thought it was Jimmy, uh, with a lot of plays. When you look at the backcourt and the assists that they all had, it tells you a lot about how the game was run, and so, uh, and that's the great value in having Jimmy. Uh, and, and if, Carl, uh, if uh, Wick continues to make plays like that, that's an added bonus. And so the way they played off each other was, was critical. 
What impact did Jimmy's aggressiveness, especially early there in the first quarter, have on this game? A lot, a lot. You know, he brings a tenacity and a toughness to our team, and we need that. And we get that from him. We get it from Taj. You know, uh, I think Cat's grown in that area. You know, uh, but we need that from everybody. Tom, you guys have been pretty good defensively all all series here. What do you see coming together on that front that has allowed you to? Well, I think down the stretch we learned a lot. I think you know those were hard fought games, and they were like playoff games. So I think we, you know we learned from that, and we still have a long way to go defensively, but you're starting to see the growth, and I think that's that's critical. I, and I mean, this is as good an offensive team as you're going to see in this league. And so it requires everyone to be tied together and you have to do more than one thing and you have to be disciplined and you have to play with great intensity. Uh, and we're starting to do that. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, yeah.